I'm Katie Barrett at the Wall Street Journal. If you're one of the many people who hates typing on an on-screen keyboard, that is using a glass screen and tapping away, you are not alone. This is a very common problem and one of the most frustrating things for people who use iPhones and Android phones with these types of keyboards. So this week I took a look at a couple apps that make this process a little easier. I tested out Swift Key 3, which is a $3.99 app from the Android Google Play Store. And I also took a look at something called Snap Keys SI. Swift Key 3 is a really smart keyboard. It basically has studied all sorts of language across the internet, scraped all sorts of internet behavior and different wording, and studied what people say and what words come before other words. And it uses that knowledge in the app so that you can type and it will predict what you're going to say after every single word. So you can just keep on typing and select predicted words that pop up after you've typed just one letter and the process is, is extremely fast. You can just zip along through emails and uh, I really enjoyed it. It also has a smart feature that knows where a space would go and it supports 54 different languages with alterations of languages like British English or Australian English so it will very quickly switch between uh, those different languages so if you have different dialects you can switch between those as well. So I really enjoyed using this keyboard. It was easy to pick up and very intuitive. I tested out Snap Keys SI, and this is a new keyboard, a very different concept. It kind of throws the whole idea of a QWERTY keyboard out the window, and in place of that layout, gives you four different squares and just 12 letters on those squares. And this sounds quite bizarre, and it is, and you really just have to tap on these squares to create your words. So if you don't see one of the letters you want on a square, you tap the center of the screen where there are no letters and hope that this uh, engine that's used in the app gets the word right that you're trying to spell. In many cases, this took a real learning curve. I had to try a lot of different words before it got it right. And, uh, and I was sort of desperately hoping to see a QWERTY keyboard layout after I used it for a while. So if you really want to try learning something very different, Snap Keys SI might be the way to go. It is attractive in that it doesn't take up a lot of screen space on the bottom of your screen. It only has these four squares. Another nice feature is that it basically allows you to use your thumbs, which could be thicker fingers, and you never really miss where you're trying to tap. So that's also a bonus. I got a chance to get my hands on the BlackBerry 10 keyboard very quickly, and this will be coming out on January 30th. They've incorporated some very cool new technology in this. Two features that I want to point out are that it suggests predictive words as you go, and those words appear right within the keyboard. And when you see a word that is what you're trying to spell, you immediately swipe up to throw that word into a sentence that you're spelling out and then just keep going from there. This is easy to do with just one hand on the device, and uh, it, it's a very attractive feature. And it also has something that's like a heat map for each key, so it can tell where you're touching each key. So say you touch the bottom right corner of the T key whenever you type it, but not quite the entire key, that keyboard will learn your behavior, and everyone's phone will be different because they use their keyboards differently. So there are options out there if you're frustrated with the process of typing on glass and making mistakes and constantly having to look down as you walk and use your phone. I'm Katie Barrett at the Wall Street Journal.